With varying frequency, SCP-1680-A appears approximately 150 meters away from Site 33B, drives to the site, opens its door, permits an instance of SCP-1680 to depart, drives approximately 50 meters from Site 33B, and, and disappears. disappears. <laughs> okay. Out of all the SCP videos that we react to, we see characters over and over and over again, and hear about concepts over and over again. And one of those is the D-Class. It's the violent criminal that is being sentenced somehow got put into the foundation to be pretty much cannon fodder, to be used to fuel the experiments of the SCP Foundation and the D-Class get abused. Did you know there was an SCP written that was about the D-Class itself? It's SCP-1680 and we're gonna react to it today from the Vulgan. Make sure to head on over to his channel guys and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you like reaction videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. Let's get into the SCP. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Miller. Hi, Dr. And Miller. And the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-1680. Object class, Euclid. Euclid. Special Containment Procedures Site 33B is to be staffed with Foundation personnel trained in the reception and processing of SCP-1680 instances. Okay. Site 33B is disguised as the dilapidated former location of Mission High School. All right. Civilians attempting to investigate the interior of Site 33B are to be given amnestic treatment and returned to their homes. <laughs> Processing is to be followed by transport to Site-33, previously Site-38, for relocation as determined by Site-33B Command or the Department of Human Resources. Alrighty. Any individuals inquiring into the anomalous behavior of SCP-1680-A are to be given amnestic treatment when possible. Alright. The Foundation is to attempt to acquire homes within line of sight of the route of SCP-1680-A. Alright. Addendum. As of February 11th, 2009, all human resources agents stationed at Site 33B are to be of level 4 rank or higher. Dang. Any Foundation personnel displaying insubordinate behavior in response to SCP-1680 processing and relocation orders are to be given amnestic treatment and reassigned. Dang! So, <laughs> this, this appears to have a lot, a big security clearance for one, as well as some stuff that goes on there that may have that may be related to it being difficult to deal with these D class. You know, I always thought as D class of people that were just held and used, you know, but this seems a lot different. Description SCP 1680 is a collection of identical humanoid entities, uh... age estimated at eight years. Okay. Instances of SCP-1680 are 137 centimeters in height and 38.5 kilograms in mass upon acquisition. Eight-year-old human. Because of their effectively identical nature, this document will discuss SCP-1680 as a collective unit. Right. Through genetic testing, SCP-1680 has been determined to be an exact replica of Tyler Buchanan, an, an eight-year-old eight boy. boy declared missing on November 2nd, 2007. So he has See addendum 1681 for acquisition details. All right. Each instance of SCP-1680 believes itself to be Tyler Buchanan and possesses identical memories up to the day of his disappearance. Genetic Here. testing has concluded that each instance is genetically identical to one another and to the original Tyler Buchanan. Each instance of SCP-1680 demonstrates extreme emotional distress when exposed to other copies of SCP-1680. Well, wouldn't you be emotionally distressed if you met yourself somewhere and they were convinced that they were you? Like, I've seen some instances of people that looked like me before, and I've been told a number of times that I look like other people, but I've never met anybody that looked exactly like me. Tell you a weird little story, though. I saw the spitting image of my grandfather on my mom's side in a truck one day, in a local town that my grandfather and grandmother before they passed away used to live in. And I waved at him and he looked at me like I was crazy. I was a kid, you know, I was, and I told mom 
that I saw him. I saw I saw Papa, and she was like, he was driving a different truck, wasn't he? I was like, yeah. I was like, that's not his truck. So I told my Papa about it later, and he was like, no, that's got to be my twin. I was like, wait, you got a brother? He was like, no, it's somebody else in this town that looks exactly like me. I've been told a number of times that I even met the fella, and he's a nice guy. I forget what his name was, but it he said it was unnerving, you know, and I was really, really young, and I've never got to talk to my grandfather in an older sense about his twin, but he said he made it seem like it was pretty awkward for him back then, and it was, like I said, the spitting image of it, man. It was crazy, and it, no relation at all. Nuts, bro. SCP-1680-A resembles a Type A chassis short school bus. Okay. Bus number 216756. License plate 5PWD314. Examination of the chassis and physical markings suggest it was manufactured by Canadian manufacturer Collins Bus Corporation in 2005. Okay. No bus matching this description has been located at any school, and manufacturing information is not available. All right. The windows of SCP-1680-A are effectively opaque. Nothing of the interior of the bus is visible until each instance of SCP-1680 crosses the threshold of the door and exits the vehicle. Weird. No personnel attempting to board the bus have been recovered to date. Whoa. With varying frequency, SCP-1680-A appears approximately 150 meters away from Site 33B, drives to the site, opens its door, permits an instance of SCP-1680 to depart, drives approximately 50 meters from Site 33B, and, and disappears. disappears. <laughs> okay. A magic school bus rolls up and produces a clone of Tyler Buchanan. Over and over, and anybody that ever tried to board the bus has never been recovered. What the hell, dude? Attempts to track the origin or destination of SCP-1680-A have failed by all collected evidence. Right. The bus comes into existence spontaneously, deposits SCP-1680, and disappears shortly after. How crazy. No man. individuals living in the surrounding area have reported the unusual nature of this to any official authorities or made any inquiries to date. Okay. To date, all instances of SCP-1680 have claimed to have no memory of the bus ride itself or of anything between leaving school and arriving at Site 33B. Wow. Addendum 1681. Acquisition, Acquisition log. log. I wanted to see this. Tyler Buchanan was last seen leaving Dresden Elementary School in Dresden, Tennessee at approximately 1450 hours on November 2nd, 2007. Okay. While he was scheduled to be transported by bus number 64 to Happy Homestead Daycare in Dresden, no individuals interviewed reported seeing him board the bus. As an Rather, two teachers claimed he left the building but was called back by a science teacher to pick up a report card. Okay. The science teacher in question could not be located. The bus itself Here. was never located or recovered. Additionally, Upon the disappearance of Buchanan and all of the children on bus number 64, interviews suggested that all potential witnesses at the school had gaps in their memory around the time the bus was boarding. Wow. Shortly after the bus was reported missing, anomalous activity was reported from the school's science lab as well. Okay. A cover story reported bus number 64 and all children aboard, along with Tyler Buchanan, as the victims of a terrorist attack against a rural school. Hmm. The first instance of SCP-1680 was recovered on November 2nd, 2007. The Foundation had received reports suggesting that Group of Interest Lambda 33, MANA Charitable Foundation, was maintaining a warehouse for collecting anomalous or potentially anomalous artifacts at the former site of Mission High School. Oh! Mobile Task Force Phi-22 was dispatched to investigate. Right. Upon securing and inspecting the area, and determining no Lambda-33 presence in the building, SCP-1680-A made its first appearance at 1525 hours, depositing the first recovered instance of SCP-1680. Okay. The instance was presumed to be a non-anomalous child, transported to the nearest Foundation safe house, and questioned. 
Okay. SCP-1681 was administered Class C amnestics and was about to be returned to his home using a cover story when SCP-1680-A reappeared six hours later at the same location and deposited another instance of SCP-1680. God, Both dude. instances were detained while the Mobile Task Force requested further instructions. By this time, Foundation authorities had determined that an undetermined anomalous situation had occurred at Dresden Elementary School and that the then unclassified humanoid entities were to be detained until further notice. Right. Addendum 1682. Relevant Memoranda. Okay. 205 Command from Site 33 Command. Regarding SCP-1680, August 28th, 2008. Attached is current documentation regarding SCP-1680. Okay. We are currently sitting on 2,410 instances of this phenomenon. Holy cow. We have most of them in chemical-induced comas spread around half a dozen different sites. The few that have died have been cremated to reduce storage space, but containment is becoming increasingly difficult in terms of simple quantity of contained instances. What the That's hell, nice. dude? Note. No particular answer was given in response to this memorandum. To all site commands, from 05 Command, mm -hmm. regarding D-Class shortage issue. Oh no. October 4th, 2008. Oh no. Current attrition rates of D-Class personnel are beginning to threaten standard channels of procurement. All site command departments are instructed to compose a report exploring the possibility of alternate means of securing significant numbers of D-Class personnel on short notice. <sighs> 052 205 command alternate means of securing significant numbers of D class personnel on short notice from site 33 command regarding D class shortage issue October 10th 2008 report attached including copy of SCP 1680 documentation protocols for particular consideration See attached studies regarding Train trainability and loyalty. and loyalty. Instances are physically diminutive, but useful for most D-class tasks not related to physical strength. Okay, they're Given eight. the otherwise non-anomalous nature of SCP-1680 iterations, non-anomalous other than the number of identical copies of instances, we currently believe that the standard concerns regarding exposure of SCP phenomena to one another are unwarranted under these circumstances. Do they age, though? MDJ. Addendum. 1682. They're not anomalous, Dr. Jones, so. director of Site-35, has been promoted to Level 5. Okay. Changes in training and orientation for SCP-1680 instances put into effect November 2nd, 2009. Yep. For more information regarding the anomalous event involving the school bus, please consult documentation for SCP-1480. For information regarding an additional anomalous event connected to SCP-1680, Please consult documentation <laughs> for SCP-1380. Guys, that's where all the D-Class come okay. from. Well, I think that about does it for today. Thank you all for listening, <laughs> if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. What the heck, dude? That's where the D-Class are coming from. You know, having a limitless supply of people that you can't let go into the world because they could expose the anomalous nature of what they are and what happens <laughs> it would freak the world out right if we knew that there was this ghostly school bus that would drop off clones of kids over and over and over again information like that can't be let out and they can't just house all of these things or mercilessly just kill them May as well use them for experiments. Hot dang. That was a good one, man. The Vulcan, guys. Make sure to subscribe to him as well as a couple other videos that are reacted to him from here. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.